गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट क्रोमोसोमल थ्योरी ऑफ लिंकेज एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो क्रोमोसोमल थ्योरी ऑफ लिंकेज वाज प्रपोज्ड बाय मॉर्गन एंड कैसल इन 1911 सो एक्चुअली दे वर्कड विद ड्रोसोफिला मेलानोगास्टर द फ्रूट फ्लाई before postulating this theory according to this theory genes are arranged in a linear manner on a chromosome suppose this is chromosome 1 here different genes are placed in this way so genes are arranged in linear manner on a chromosome the genes present on a same chromosome have a tendency to be inherited together during transmission from generation to generation this is known as linkage so suppose this chromosome 1 contains a b c d e genes suppose this chromosome contains these five genes now this organism will produce gametes and we know that male and female gametes unite to form the zygote and that zygote also will get these five genes on chromosome number 1 that means these a b c d e these five genes are inherited together during transmission from generation to generation from parents to offspring so this is known as linkage linkage means these are linked these are connected therefore the genes on the same chromosome show linkage these genes are called as linked genes so here we can say that gene a b c d e these five genes are linked genes since these five genes are placed in chromosome number 1 and they will be transmitted in the offspring in the same pattern or in the same manner so the strength of linkage can be determined by the distance between the linked genes the shorter distance shows stronger linkage distantly located genes show weaker linkage that means suppose this chromosome number 1 contains these five genes a to e now gene a and gene b these are placed almost together the distance between a and b is very less that means the a and b genes will be more linked compared to a and d or b and e so these a b are more connected they are more linked and greater is the linkage greater would be the probability that they will be transmitted in the progeny in the same manner calculation of the distance between linked genes is called linkage mapping so we can calculate the distance between a and b or a and c or a and e that is called linkage mapping linked genes allow crossing over and recombination often if genes are strongly linked crossing over doesn't occur and distantly located genes allow crossing over so we will see this soon okay so this diagram here we can see that in this cell we have a homologous pair of chromosome suppose chromosome number 1 we have in this homologous pair both are chromosome 1 and this chromosome contains two sister chromatids and this chromosome also contains two sister chromatids during cell division it happens right so this chromosome has gene capital a capital b and this chromosome contains gene small a small b now crossing over happens between these two and 
after crossing over we can get four gametes here one gamete contains the exact capital a capital b so we can say this is parental con combination and this one also has the parental combination but these two has a different combination like the capital a gene is present but along with capital a we had capital b since crossing over happens this chromosome contains small b and in this chromosome you can find that small a gene is present so along with small a small b should be present but since crossing over happens capital b gene is present with this small a gene so these two gametes are not like parents they are called recombinants and the distance between a and b gene is huge so the crossing over occurs here so the probability of crossing over is also more compared to this situation here you can see that again the homologous chromosome pair is there here we have gene a and b so this chromosome contains gene capital a and capital b and this chromosome contains gene small a and small d you can see that the distance between this a and d gene is less they are closely associated right so the crossing over doesn't happen here no crossing over since there is no crossing over recombination will also not happen so the gametes show no recombination they are called parental gametes so this chromosome contains capital a capital d gene just like this this gamete contains capital a capital d just like this chromosome and these two gametes contain small a and small d gene just like this okay so linked genes allow crossing over and recombination often if genes are strongly linked crossing over doesn't occur whatever we have seen in gene a and gene d distantly located genes allow crossing over so gene a and gene d allowed crossing over here linked genes get separated if crossing over happens yeah because in this case we have seen that crossing over happened and linked genes capital a and capital b got separated capital a is now with small b and small a is now with capital b now the frequency with which a crossing over happens between two genes during meiosis is referred to as recombination frequency suppose 100 gametes are formed now among those 100 gametes how many recombination occurred that is called the recombination frequency so the recombination frequency will be 50% when two genes are widely separated on the same chromosome so actually this 50% frequency is the highest frequency that can happen the recombination frequency between two genes cannot be greater than 50% and genes that are closer together like in this case a and d these genes are very closer so they undergo fewer crossing over and recombination events there is a least probability that crossing over will happen here so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture if you want to get the pdf notes of this topic please check the first pin comment or the description box thank you